Hello everybody and welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show guys how to build my new ATM which uses hoppers and droppers. So instead of a keypad, we now have key cards. I use numbers on my key cards. Obviously, you can name them whatever you like. They don't have to be numbers, but I just thought I would like something that would feel like more like a debit card or a credit card. So if we go inside our ATM right here and we throw in any one of these numbers, I'm going to use 2692 because that is mine. And we click this button right here. Our key card should go through and then we'll get our chest right down here. And inside my chest, as you see, I already got my key card back because what happens is the key card will pop out of the floor going right back into your inventory. If you don't stand right here, you won't drop right out, but it will just pop up here and you can just grab it whenever. So inside my minecart with a chest, I have a lot of redstone because obviously I am a redstone person, so I need a lot of redstone. So let's go ahead and send our cart back and then we'll try out another key card. Now I did make this so it doesn't break. So if someone has multiple key cards and wants to chunk a chuck a bunch of key cards in there and then just rapidly click the button like this it will not do anything guys don't worry it will only send one my card through and then the other ones will get stuck you see there's two in here and then there's another key card stuck back there inside the hopper now let's see what we got here <laughs> apparently we got the armory key card so let's go ahead and send this back so once that one gets back then another my card will be sent i know that is very annoying but guess what it stops it from breaking all the my cards and we don't want that hey look we got our key card back so inside this one whoa this person is definitely a duplicator <laughs> so let's go ahead and send that back in and then let's just take out these extra key cards because i'm sure you understand what's happening right now so we're gonna go over the redstone and then we'll start building this thing guys because it's actually not a very hard build however we are using my card tracks so that can get really annoying when you're using it with redstone but we'll go into all that later on so here is all the redstone behind it guys right here the purple stained clay is our break prevention system this will stop it so when people are multiply sending things through it won't break it also if you send a random item in there it won't do anything as well so don't worry about that so over here we have multicolored channels for all our my carts with chests inside of them right here is mine with the redstone and then i forget the other ones i completely forgot i made them different colors so i remember but after doing the whole break prevention system things like that i actually forgot what it is down here our orange stained clay is just our arrival and departure base so if you've seen my older atm videos and if you have built my older atms if your my cart system is broken i know i need to update the monotable circuits on them but if you go ahead and build this one right here it should work absolutely fine this will fix the older ATMs as well. So just giving you a heads up on that. And then over here is just a simple auto sorting system that I used for our key cards. It's just a normal auto sorting system that will send power through to activate all our mine cards. So let's go ahead and start building this thing, guys, because we got a lot to go through. All right, guys, so I'm going to be showing you how to build three stations and or key cards, whatever you want to call them. And then obviously all you have to do is just keep building the same thing over and over again. And you can have as many as you want, but I'm only going to be showing how to build three of them. So if you want to build three of them and then later on build more, what we're going to need is a eight by 18 spacing. And we are also going to have to dig down three. I want to keep it so you can build this on flatlands. Now, if you're wondering what this red stained clay is right here, this is where our wall is going to be. So this is going to be our wall. And then our ATM is going to be jutting out by one. If you want to put it on the inside of the wall, you can do that as well but I like it when everything is seems a little bit more aesthetic to the builds. All right, guys, so before we jump into this build, I want to talk about the minecart rails, just so you get an understanding of what I'm talking about, the snapping feature with north, south, east, and west. Now, we are going to be building ours right here. We're going to be building it to the west. So all our rails are going to be snapping towards the left. What I mean by that is right here, if I delete this rail and I put it back, as you can see, it snapped to the left. If I delete this rail and I put it here, it will snap to the left. No matter how many times I delete it and put it back, it will always go towards the left. Same thing goes with south right here. If I break this and put it down, it will always go towards the left, no matter what. Now, however, if I go over here and we are facing north now, and I delete these blocks and I put them in, they're going to the right. Now you see, no matter what I do, they will always go towards the right. And why this could have such a problem with this build is because if your mine carts are coming through and the exit for the ATM is towards the left and your mine carts are going towards the right, it breaks it. You can kind of understand what's going on here. It's going to break it because they're going to the right when you need them going to the left. Now it's very easy to fix this and we're gonna be fixing it in the build, but just to give you a heads up on what I mean how to fix it, all we have to do is just send power to these two rails and the snapping feature will fix itself. So you see if I put some redstone dust here and here, now they are always gonna be snapping towards the left no matter what, because we have a power current going towards them. So let's go ahead and start building this thing guys. So if you do get confused and you say your mine guards are breaking and all that stuff, 
then you didn't watch this part of the video and you skipped ahead so hopefully you didn't skip ahead all right guys so we're gonna be starting off with our rails first because obviously that is going to be the hardest part of this entire build so once you've gotten your 18 by 8 spacing and you've dug down your three come to the top left hand corner and what we're going to do is count down five blocks so one two three four five and then we're gonna count over three blocks one two three and then on this third block we're going to come up three blocks one two three and this right here we're going to delete these two blocks and this is going to be one of our rail tracks for one of our key cards now i'm going to be doing three you can do a lot more and i'm also going to be color coding them you don't have to color code them i just like to do it so then what we're going to do is come over two more blocks delete the middle one come over two more blocks the, the middle one and there we go there's where my three key cards are going to be going this is going to be the first one the second one and the third one all right guys so what we're going to do first is our arrival and departure base so the first block right here we don't have to do anything underneath it until we do our break prevention system so skip the first one and we're going to start from the second one now facing from the front uh, over here's our wall over here's our wall so facing from the front we're going to put a dropper right underneath this block facing towards the left so go over towards your left and place a dropper facing that way from the front see it's beautiful if it's not doing that then this thing's gonna get messed up guys so follow along perfectly then coming out of this dropper we're gonna put another dropper facing towards the front of our wall and then going into this dropper we're gonna put another dropper right over here like that then going into the side of this dropper where our dropper is facing this way we're gonna put a hopper going this way into that dropper and this will create a silent key flip flop the only reason i'm using this is because it's only one high and we can keep this whole entire build only three deep so you can build it on flatlands next what i want you to do is right underneath this block this dropper we're going to go inside the dropper and we're going to place a piece of dirt or whatever you want just place one item in there if you place more than one item in there it will not work so make sure you only got one item inside these things even at the end of the build just double check guys double check at the end of the build because it can break it if you put more than one item in there then right above that dropper we just put that item in i want you to go into sneak mode and place a piece of redstone dust on top of it now we're going to do the same thing we just did here right next to it underneath this block don't worry you don't have to do anything under this one so we're gonna do the same exact thing we did here so right underneath it we're gonna put a dropper facing towards all these other droppers put a dropper facing towards the front then we're gonna put a dropper going inside of this one right here like that and then we're gonna put a hopper going into the side of the dropper that will create our silent t flip-flop go inside this one that's underneath the block place in our random item doesn't really matter what it is just make sure it's only one and then put a piece of redstone dust right underneath the block like that then coming out of these two droppers right here we're going to come out two blocks one two like this you don't have to do this i'm using glass so don't worry about that then we're going to put comparators coming out of both of these droppers right here so put a comparator coming out of it here and here and then put a repeater coming out of both of them on four ticks delay as well all right guys so now what we're going to do is some of the rails so above all these blocks right here we're going to put a detector rails make sure they're detector rails right above all these blocks then coming out this way we're going to come out four blocks one two three four do that to every single one one two three four one two three four all going towards the front and then we're going to put a normal rail here here and here and then a powered rail here here and here and then two normal rails one two one two one two then we're going to come to the backhand side over here and we're going to come out three blocks one two three one two three one two three and then we're going to come up one more block one one and one then off the back of these blocks we're going to put powered rail powered rail powered rail and then put normal rails along all those as well then over here in the front all we have to do is just attach all these together so come over one block like that you don't have to color code it guys i just like doing it and then we're just going to put powered rails in between all of these like that don't worry which way they're connecting this will all fix itself later on and then we're going to come out three more blocks this way one two three and we're going to put a powered rail here normal rail powered rail these two this one right here is going to get deleted but we're going to use it just to test everything out then we're just going to come up a block right here from this powered rail and we're going to put a button right here this will be getting deleted guys this is just so we could test out our rails to just make sure everything is working next what i want you to do is come up next to all these powered rails right here and come out two blocks this way this way and this way and then put a torch right next to each one a redstone torch and then put a piece of redstone dust going down to each powered rail like that this is just to activate all these the reason why i didn't use redstone blocks is just because i didn't want anything to get uh, messed up underneath here all right guys so this is where our tracks are going to change so if you're building it south or west then you're absolutely fine you don't have to change anything if you're building it north or east i'll show you how to change it right after we do the first one first so what i want you to do is come right down here to where these four tick delay repeaters are and just put two blocks in front of both of them now this is for south and west if you're not building a south or west then do not follow along i'll be doing the next part right after this one so then right on top of these we're going to put redstone dust on top of both these blocks 
and then going from the right hand side towards our left hand side we're going to put repeaters going this way on one tick delay so put a repeater here going into this block after you've gotten your repeater and put a block up next to both of these pieces of redstone dust then to the sides of them going towards the left we're going to put a torch going this way a torch going this way and then put a block above both torches boom boom and then put a block on the sides of both of these like that they both go off so it looks something like this and then put a block above your off torch like this boom and boom beautiful so now we can go ahead and test this out to make sure everything's working so come back here to where these blocks are and just place a button on top of both of these block all these blocks i mean and then we're going to take out our minecart with a chest and place down our minecarts with chests like that so now we're going to test out to make sure everything's working so the best one to test out is normally the middle one so we're going to just press this button our minecart with a rail will go and as you see this rail switched over see how that rail switched over so now if i send the minecart back boop and the minecart rail switched back over again so everything is working great so we're going to come over here and test this one as well click this button it goes and then see how both of them switched over both the rails switched over and then when we send it back it goes back to its normal spot and then it switches the rails back to its normal state so everything is working great on my end i don't know how your end is going so now i'm going to show you guys in case you're building it north or east how to set it up so guys i'm just giving you a heads up now if you built this north or east i can't test it with you since i have this thing built south right now i can't go along and test it with you so what you want to do is just come down here where we have our repeater and our two blocks that i left you off the last time and instead of putting redstone dust on top of these blocks we're going to put a torch off the side of it on both of them and then we're going to put a block above both these on torches right here and right here then we're just going to put a torch to the side a torch to the side then blocks above both of these off torches boom boom and then put two more torches on the sides one more time one two like that and then just put blocks above both of your on torches like so and that's going to be your setup for north and east see how the torches go up like that that's the setup for north and east all right guys so once you've gotten your arrival and departure bay in and everything is working great we're going to go ahead and put in our auto sorting system for our key cards or credit debit cards whatever you want to call them so we're going to do this one first we're going to come right up here over this block i'm just going to put a block up i'm going to keep everything color coded so it just keeps it looking nice we're just going to come up one more block above this one and then we're going to put a slab upside down right here you have to use a slab here because if any power is sent here it can mess around with these rails and that will screw up everything then once you got your rail your uh, slab there we're just going to come over to the end one two three four five blocks like that and we're going to put redstone dust along all of these blocks one two three four five six just like that then right here next to this slab we're going to put a torch and then over here at the end we're going to put another torch it should go off and then we're going to put a piece of redstone dust right here like that and that's going to activate this powered rail to send our mine card through now we're going to do the same thing here two more times with the different colors so just put a block right above here put a torch on top of the block a slab upside down and then come over five blocks one two three four five put redstone dust along all these blocks put a torch at the end and then put a piece of redstone dust down here and then one more time now we don't have a block here so what i do i just come over like this obviously if you add more key cards in then you're gonna have a lot more of these going on but we're just gonna put our block slab five blocks over one two three four five put redstone dust on top of all of these blocks like that put a torch on this side then we're gonna come over here and put a torch right here Boop. and then we're gonna put a piece of redstone dust right over here so once you've gotten all three lines and we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna start doing our auto sorting system so right off of this torch we're gonna come down one block and then one more block like that and put two pieces of redstone dust right here one two then what i want you to do is come down a block right here and put a slab upside down like this delete that block we need that spacing then going into this block we're going to put a comparator then right underneath this block we're going to put a block right here and a block up like this so it should look like a u-shape kind of deal then we're going to put a piece of redstone dust here here and then a torch off the side of the block like that so it should look something like this and we got to do this with every single one so two blocks down one two we can delete this block it's not needed put some redstone dust here and here then we got to put a slab upside down like that put a comparator going into it a block underneath this block we're going to make a nice little u shape put redstone dust here here and then a redstone torch coming off the side and then one more time so we're going to come two blocks down one two like that we'll delete these two blocks and then we're going to put a slab upside down Put a comparator going into the block with redstone dust along both these blocks like that put a block underneath make a nice little u shape and put two redstone dust here and here and then we're going to go ahead and put a redstone torch like that so it should look something like this right now 
Next, what I want you to go ahead and do is put a block right behind this comparator. So put a block up behind the comparator and put a hopper going into the back of the block like that. Then underneath this hopper, we have to put another hopper facing towards our wall. So I usually just come up two blocks like this and put a hopper going into the block like that. Make sure it is facing towards your wall. And we're gonna do the same thing we did here on these two as well. So put a block up behind this comparator, put a hopper going into the back of it. Then I usually just come up two blocks like this and put another hopper facing towards the wall. And we'll do it one more time really quickly. We're gonna put a block up right behind this comparator like this. Then we're gonna put a hopper going into the back of it two blocks up here and a hopper going into the back of this block like that. Next, what I want you to do is put a line of hoppers above these hoppers going towards the right hand side. So just come over a block like this, like that. And then we're going to put a bunch of hoppers facing towards that way. So hopper here, 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 like that. So they should all be facing towards the right hand side. Then we're going to put one more hopper coming off the back of this one. And then another one going off the back of this one. And then right here is where our ATM is going to be going. So I'm just going to come up four blocks right here. One, two, three, four, like that. Take out a dropper and put a dropper facing inwards towards this hopper like that. So it should look something like this. Next, what I want you to do is come right over here to the end. And we're going to put a hopper right underneath this block. Delete this block right here. Then we're going to put a hopper going right into the top of it like that. Next, what we're gonna do is come up two blocks on this wall again, one, two, and put a hopper going into the block like this right underneath this one. Then we're gonna pretty much just send a line of hoppers going towards this dropper again. So I just come all the way over here to the end, come up two blocks, one, two, and then just put a line of hoppers going towards that dropper right there. So one, two, three, four, five, and six like that. And they should all be facing towards this dropper right here. Next, what I want you to do is come out a block right here and put a dropper facing upwards. This is where our dropper is going to shoot out our key card so we get it back. Then delete these two blocks right here and put two hoppers going into the back of this dropper right here. So one, two, like that. So everything should look like this, guys. Next, what we're going to do is the system for this dropper so it shoots out our key card once it goes into it. So we're going to come out two blocks right here. One, two, put a comparator coming out of this dropper, put a repeater coming out of the comparator. Put two blocks up here one two and then put three blocks one two three like that and then face three redstone dust going into this comparator right here so one two three back into this comparator and then set this comparator on subtraction mode i almost forgot guys first delete this redstone dust here and here and put a repeater coming out right here underneath this hopper on one tick delay and then put your block here with the redstone dust going into it like this then coming out of this repeater we're going to put a block then another piece of redstone dust here, and then another block underneath this dropper. So now our whole dropper system right here should be working. So if I throw any items into these hoppers right here, it will get shot out of this dropper. If I stand right here, see one, two, three, and I got them all. So once you know your dropper system is working, go ahead and take out your floor blocks. And we're just gonna put some floor blocks right here. And we're gonna wrap this all the way down. Remember, this is where our wall is gonna be, guys. So we're gonna put some floor blocks all the way down here because we no longer need to see this area now that our dropper's in. Once you've gotten your floor in, now we can go ahead and do our arrival for our minecart. So we're going to come right over here where this dropper is. This is where our ATM is. And we're going to bring this line right here all the way down to over here. Now, I forgot. Did I tell you guys I deleted this? Well, it doesn't really matter. You're going to have to delete this two area right here that I did just for the testing. And we're just going to come out a block. And then we're going to come down a block. I like using my floor choice because you can see it if you go really far backwards. And then we're just going to bring this all the way down like so. All the way next to our ATM. And we're actually going to have to delete this block and put one more right here. Then right here next to our ATM, we're going to put a powered rail. And then we're going to put a normal rail. Next, what I like to do is just put all powered rails right here. This is just to make sure that my cart makes it. I, it probably will make it with less, but I just want to be on the safe side. And then we're just going to put a normal rail right here, connecting it all together. And now we just have to send power to all these powered rails. So I usually just put a torch right underneath it, or you can use a redstone block. It really doesn't matter. Once you've gotten your rail system in, come back over here and put a block right above this normal rail. And then we're going to put a button coming off right here. This is where we're going to send our cart back. So if I click this, see how the power comes on and it will send our cart back. So if you want to go ahead and put in a nice little walling right here, remember, this is where our wall is going to be, guys. So I'm just going to go like this real quick. And we're just going to put a wall right here just so everything looks nice. So once you've gotten your walling in, now we're going to put in our key cards or whatever you really want to add in. I already have mine in here. All I did was just steal it from those ones over there. But if you don't know how to rename your own items, a stack of items, all you have to do is go inside an anvil 
throw a stack of items in there and then right up here you can name it whatever you want so i'm gonna name it blah, 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 blah. <laughs> see i can rename 64 of it rtgfgtyhy and there you go so if you want to rename whatever you want it doesn't have to be paper it could be whatever you want but that's how you go ahead and do that so i'm just going to delete those out of there so to put in your key cards what you're going to do is come over here to front and if you want to remember what key card is which i highly recommend maybe putting a sign or something on top of these blocks just so you can remember if you can't remember then it's it's meh <laughs> so then going into the hoppers that are going into these blocks see these blocks right here that the hoppers are going into with the comparators go inside this hopper that's going into the block and we're going to place one two three four items in here and then 18 here so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and 18. once you've gotten your 18 item in throw one more into the 18 so one like that and what that's going to do is funnel one more item down into here it will also activate your mine cards that's why i said just make sure to do it and then all you have to do is just send your mine card back this just lets you know that everything's working but make sure you send those mine card back while you're doing this that's why i wait to this moment in time just so you can make sure that your mine cards are working so let's go to the second one and we're going to do it one more time here so one two three four put 18 items in here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and eighteen and then put one more in like that and then it should send our mine card through there it is and then we could just send it back boop it goes back to its good spot and then one more time just to make sure every single one of them is working great we're going to do it one more time one two three four one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen and oh i sent one more in already there we go and then our mine cart should be there beautiful and then we'll send it back like that so all our mine carts are working great and our auto system is working fine so now if i go inside my dropper right here and i can let's say throw in 1526 right here i'll click the button it will go through it will send the my cart and it will also pop the item out of the bow <laughs> it will pop the item of the thing obviously we're gonna have a floor here so the item doesn't fall down like thirty thousand blocks so now guys all we have to do is our break prevention system if you really feel like no one is going to break this thing on you if you really feel like it you are done you don't have to do any more this is just in case you know you get someone with your friends or something that just want to fool around and break stuff this will stop them from doing that but if you know no one's going to break it then you're done you don't have to do any more so what we're going to start off by doing first is our prevention system to send extra mine cards through because if you keep feeding those key cards in then all the mine cards are going to come out and we don't want that to happen so to stop people from sending multiple key cards through and breaking your entire system we're going to come right here and see where this first detector rail is and there's nothing underneath it we're going to put a block right here and put a piece of redstone dust underneath it this is where it's going to come into place then right underneath where every single one of these pieces of redstone dust are we're going to come down one more block so i'm going to go ahead and do this real quick just because this is all glass for me and coming out of all of these blocks right here that has the redstone dust on top of them even the droppers we're going to put a repeater coming out of them on one tick delay so one two three just like that and then we're going to put blocks up in front of all of these repeaters one two three four five like that and put redstone dust along all these blocks like so all right guys so now off of any one of these blocks it really doesn't matter but i'm going to be doing the first one we're going to put a block out with redstone dust here and then we're going to put a sticky piston facing upwards with a block on top of it then a block over and put a repeater coming out of this block on one tick delay that will create a mono stable circuit next what i want you to do is put a sticky piston facing upwards in front of this repeater with a block on top of it and then put three pieces of sand on top of that one two three just like that then we're going to come out a block right here off this sand block with a repeater going towards it on one tick delay and then a block behind the repeater with a torch off the back side this will keep this repeater on forever we need this repeater to be on forever next what i want you to do is come over here and we're going to put blocks going all along this one two three like that and then two this way as well one two and then put redstone dust along all these blocks one two three four five and then off every single one that's above one of these lines we're going to put a torch here a torch here and a torch here Next, what I want you to do is come back here and we're going to send power to this monostable circuit just so we can make sure everything is working and we need it to be extended right now. So place a button right here and then click it. And as you see, it push that block up and let it go. And now this is getting power sent to it. This has to be up right now. So go ahead and delete your button. All right, guys, so what this system does right here is it stops any other mine carts from going through if one is already out in the departure bay. So if we come over here and let's say we throw in 1598, we'll just throw 1598 in and we'll click the button right here to send it through. So 1598 should be coming shortly since it is our last mine cart. So there it comes. Beautiful. Now, if we were to go ahead and go, oh, and it fell off the side. So we go ahead and go inside our dropper and let's say we want to send 1367 in as well. So we'll click our button and we'll send 1367 through. 
as you can see nothing happens the reason why nothing happens is because when that one is activated this part is down right here so now these all these torches are on so no matter what if the power is sent through to this torch and turns off this dust it won't do anything since these ones are all on right here now the only way to send a new minecart through is to send this one back which will set this back up letting us now activate a new minecart and that's all this system does next what we're going to do is set up the prevention so people can't send in multiple key cards thus activating multiple minecarts breaking your system so what i want you to do is come right over here to where this hopper is see where this corner hopper is we're just going to come out two blocks from here one two we're going to put a comparator coming out of this hopper with a piece of redstone dust in front of it a block in front of the redstone dust and then we're going to put a dropper on top of this block and then right above this dropper we have to put another dropper so what i like to do is i usually just put a block off this torch and a block over and then put a dropper facing downwards into this dropper so pretty much this dropper is going into this one and this dropper is going into that one we can go ahead and delete these blocks and then coming out of this dropper right here we're going to go into sneak mode and put a block right here put a comparator coming out of this dropper right here like that going back towards this hopper then we're going to put a block right above this comparator put a repeater coming out of this comparator on one tick delay with a block in front of it and then a piece of redstone dust on top of this hopper like that next what i want you to do is come over here to your bottom dropper and place one item in your bottom dropper like so once you put in your one item inside your bottom dropper we're going to come back over here to this little area and we're going to come out two blocks one two coming out of this redstone dust i want you to put a repeater going this way on one tick delay with a block in front of it and then we're going to bring a line of blocks all the way down to this dropper right over here next what i want you to do is put a piece of redstone dust right here next to this dropper on top of the block put a comparator going into the redstone dust then we're going to put a dropper one block away from our comparator facing towards it and then we're going to put a hopper going into the back of this block right here next what i want you to do is go inside your dropper and place one item inside of it make sure you do not place any more than one item put a block behind the dropper and then redstone dust going all the way back to here now what this is going to do is when we send the item through and then back it's going to push the item out of this dropper back down here so now i'll show you how this system works so we're going to go inside our dispenser and let's say we're going to throw in 1367 and we're going to click our button off our atm it will send our card through oh there goes our key card <laughs> and now as you can see right here this is locked see how this is locked now so if i wanted to go inside my dropper and i wanted to place in let's say another 1598 or a 1520 oh i've just put like every single key card in there known to man <laughs> 1526 and if we click these buttons right here whoop, as you can see nothing is happening because we can no longer send any more key cards through because this is locked right here however if we send our mine card back through it will unlock it and it will send the next mine card through that was inside that dropper like i said it's annoying that's going to send the next one through but this will prevent it from breaking so let's send that back through and go ahead and take our key card back out of this and last but not least we have to set up a prevention system in case someone puts an item in there that isn't a key card so let's say i put redstone dust in there and then i click this button right here now it will easily go through guys and it won't mess up any of your mine cards but the problem is when it sends the redstone through let's see will it come through soon Oop, there it goes <laughs> when it sends it through it locks this right here now it's forever locked and the key cards can't go through since it's locked so now we have to set it up so this doesn't get locked in case someone throws in an item that isn't one of your key cards so to do that all we have to do is just swing back over here and off this bottom dropper right here which is the only these droppers right here only items that aren't meant for your your build will go through these ones right here so off this bottom one we're going to put a block Put a comparator coming out of it like this put a block in front of the comparator put a torch on top of the block a block on top of the torch a torch on top of the block and then a block on top of this torch swing it this way and bring it all the way over to that dropper right there so bring it all the way down and then put redstone dust right here 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 and here just like that and now what i want you to do is just simply reset this real quick in case you were practicing with me we're just going to reset that real quick so now let's say i want to throw in my redstone dust again so let's go down here and throw in our piece of redstone dust and click the button it will send the redstone dust through however when it gets over there it will activate those torches thus resetting it and there you guys go that is the entire thing completely done you have built the entire new atm now all we have to do is just clean up our wall a little better i'm going to use two different colors just because i think it looks nice using two different colors like this now if you want to set up a light for this just so you know there's something out right now all you have to do is just delete this block right here put a lamp and then where this redstone torch is going into this block we're going to put a block right here with a piece of redstone dust like that so now if i send my item through let's send 1598 through 
and click this button when the lamp comes through i see the lamp comes on letting you know a cart is out and then when we click it to send it back the lamp goes off beautiful and there you guys go that is how you build the entire thing and if you want to add any more key cards on guys all you have to do is just pretty much delete this part right here and then just keep repeating this step over and over again these steps right here this whole little step right here you're just gonna keep resetting over and over and over and then obviously put back in your prevention system later on so now if you want to set up like a little monitor too i just put a light blue stained clay there and then i put an item frame and a glass pane inside of it like that but there you guys have it that is the whole entire atm let's go ahead and use it one more time before i get off so we're gonna go ahead and throw this one in and we'll get our item Boop. and then this will come through and we can go in here and put whatever we want and of course i should have set up a floor yeah make sure you do that too if you are doing this in the air obviously you might want to set up a floor right here so your item doesn't keep flying off the side and then we just send it back and that lamp should go off so if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace